Now, to get started, I will go to the desktop and create a new folder. Sorry. Okay, I'll call it Blazor Calendar. Here, I will create another folder. Call it Blazor Calendar Design. And then I will open it. Then I will go to Visual Studio Code. Here, click on Open Folder and Desktop. Go for a New Folder. Sorry, Laser Calendar, and choose the design. Click on Select Folder. Okay, perfect. Now let's create a folder called Assets. Within this folder, I will create another folder called CSS and I will create another folder called Images. Ah, sorry. Folder Images. Perfect. For the CSS, I will create a main CSS file. Okay. This is the only that we need and within the main folder I will create a file called index.html perfect now I will initialize this folder with the required HTML with the basic structure of the file I will call it blazer title calendar great now let's add the main style for the website for the web app which is main.css file so to do this link assets css main.css now let's add bootstrap i will use it just for uh, the layout and the grid system so i will go to get bootstrap.com then click on get started okay from here click on copy paste it here Now, I will add Fluent UI styles. To do this as well, visit this website. You can find the link of Fluent UI in the description below. But let's talk about Fluent UI a little bit. Actually, it is the design language for Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft uses it within all its applications right now, especially for mobile, Mac, and web applications. You can see it in uh, all the office apps, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, Power, uh, Outlook, uh, OneDrive, Teams, etc., and even Azure, Microsoft Azure itself built the design, uh, the UI built with Fluent Design System. It's just awesome. Gives you all the flexibilities you need to build a very advanced uh, front-end apps. Actually, all the components are available for React, but regarding the style, the layout, and colors, icons. It's available as CSS files for public, so we can use it within our applications. Okay, if you come here to this page, click on Get Started. Okay, go for Fabric Core. Copy this, and I'll paste it here. Okay. Great. That's awesome. Now the general structure is ready. We can start with the required components. First, I want to start with the nav bar. So I will go for bootstrap, go for documentation, choose components. I'll bring the nav bar ready from bootstrap. I will choose okay this one with uh, text on the right side copy it and have bar paste it here great now let's change this one to make it the icon of Outlook to add icon we can just go to Microsoft Fluent again, 
go to styles from styles go for iconography and choose office brand icons so as you can see here you can add all the icons related to the office applications so i will copy this and paste it here choose word make it outlook okay great and for the size of the icon you have multiple sizes you can see them here 96 48 32 and 16 we need the 48 which is the most suitable for our design 48 now i will click right click on the index.html and click on web open with live server it's an extension that lets you uh, directly reload everything here no need for uh, to click refresh every time it just reflects all the changes for you here okay this is our nav bar but there is a little problem here okay okay cool as you can see here right now we have this icon home and we will need just about let's remove this one and make this one about and for this one i'll leave it as it is call it login section okay we go here as you can see everything's perfect now let's add the header which is the beginning of the page i will add a header then within this header i will add an h3 i will use ms font size 42 ms font weight regular welcome to placer calendar regarding the typography as well if you go to the fluent ui uh, typography here you can find multiple weights uh, regular semi bold and bold and also for the sizes you can find everything an example here and the class you have to use so ms font size 42 and ms font weight regular is just the perfect one we need for our demo so as you can see it's just perfect let's add a little bar graph size 14 dot ms font weight regular uh, let's type something laser calendar allows you to manage all your events within your outlook calendar okay great i will copy it and i'll type here this one only for the not authenticated users it will be please sign in with your microsoft account to get started okay now this looks great let's add a little padding for this header i will go to the main.css and i will add header to this padding 20 pixel okay awesome right now we need to add the sign with sign in with microsoft account uh, button here in the middle First, I'll go to the desktop. Here I have a little icon for Microsoft. I'll copy it, go to Placer Calendar, Design, Assets, Images, and I will paste it here because we will use it within uh, the bottom. Let's go back to index.html. I will add a little comment here not authenticated users. Okay, now I will add a Microsoft login button we will create this class in a moment and i will add another class called shadow effect great for now it redirects us for nothing and here i will add an image which is within the assets images microsoft.png 
great and here i will type sign in with microsoft awesome now if you go back here as you can see you see this horrible button it doesn't look like a button actually right now we will go for main.css and implement this microsoft create a class called microsoft login button first i'll make display block because i want to put it within the center i'll type margin auto margin top 10 pixel width i will define 250 pixel i go okay it looks awesome let's add give it a little border radius for four pixel and give it a border as well two pixel or one pixel solid and let's bring a darker gray color from microsoft fluent ui go for colors and choose neutrals okay great i will choose this one gray 150 and i will use the same color for the font the font uh, color i mean and let's add a background color for white instead of transparent okay let's see right now it looks just awesome we need also to define text decoration to none and so right now we don't have that line when we are not hovering over that class let's right now add the hover let's say also text decoration equals none because i want to override the default style of the link and we need also the color of this one so right now it's amazing we need to add padding as well padding five pixel from the top and 10 pixels from the left and right five from the top and bottom sorry great now let's add a little style just for the image mg within the microsoft login button and make width for 35 pixel let's see right now okay it looks great right and here i will i text align or center yes that's amazing let's reduce the padding on the sides a little bit let's make it five yes i think uh, okay this seven yeah just like this and right now what we have to do is to create just a little shadow effect but i will make it separated because i will use it in multiple places so i will create a class called shadow effect transition 0 0.3 second and on hover I will use a website called CSmatic. This one it helps you to create a shadow within CSS. Okay, I'll make it like this. Perfect. Then I will reduce this a little bit. Okay. Okay, that's good it's a light shadow then we can copy this code and paste it here okay i think we are ready let's go back to our calendar and over over this button okay it looks nice right it's just perfect right now we can move to the second part which is the calendar i will end the session right now because this is enough we have initialized the project and added the header the nav bar Right now we can move to the calendar in the next video so we'll be more concentrated. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned with every new video from AK Academy. See you.